What's up, y'all? I'm Tim Leak, and welcome back to my channel where we talk about real estate investing, entrepreneurship, and finance. And in this video, I will be following up with you guys on a video that I posted to my channel earlier this year. The video was titled, I Quit My $80,000 a Year Government Job to Become an Entrepreneur. And in that video, I pretty much explain how I quit my job as a mail carrier for the United States Postal Service after so many years to become a full time entrepreneur. And I also give advice for anyone who was either thinking about or planning on leaving their job as well. There's a lot of planning and factors that should be taken into consideration before you make a move like that. But I don't want to dive too much into that video, so if you haven't already, make sure you check out that video. But I will say this, it did require me to take a huge leap of faith to make a move like that. I literally quit my job without having another job. Even though I had my real estate license, I had never represented a single client at that time, and the fear of failure and embarrassment is real, especially if you announce it to the public in a YouTube video. So in this video, I wanted to give you guys an update with my journey as a full-time entrepreneur and go over some things that I got going on since making the decision to be a part of the Great Resignation. So for those who don't know, the Great Resignation was an economic trend in which employees were voluntarily quitting their jobs. I mean, people were quitting left and right. It was triggered by the pandemic and during 2021 and 2022, an average of about 4 million people quit their jobs every single month. And I was one of them. Now it's been reported that the most cited reasons for people quitting were wage stagnation, limited opportunities for advancement, hostile work environments, lack of benefits, inflexible remote work policies, and long lasting job dissatisfaction. People were tired of putting up with the bull crap and therefore decided to do something about it. However, since then, we've been experiencing something called the great regret. And that's because over 70% of workers actually regret quitting their job. And some of the most cited reasons for regretting their decision to quit are they quit without having another job lined up. They miss the people at their old job. They're disappointed in the new job and the realization that the old job wasn't half as bad after all. But as for me, how exactly do I feel? Am I included in the 70 percent of people who regret quitting their nine to five jobs hell no now i won't lie there are some challenges and i'm gonna get to those in a minute but i honestly feel like quitting my job was the best decision i ever made in my life and the great regret is something that i seen coming from a mile away why because the majority of people are never satisfied and love to complain the grass is always greener nothing is hardly ever good enough it's always going to be a complaint about something and in this case it's no different because the way i see it if you're quitting your job that you really are not passionate about just to go find Find another job that you're really not passionate about either then eventually you're going to start to have those same feelings that you had at your last job now initially when you first start you may be happy excited motivated because it's something new but it's almost always guaranteed to never stay that way unless you're doing something that you truly enjoy or are passionate about so i saw this coming but my situation was a bit different i wasn't quitting my job to go find another one i was quitting to become an entrepreneur and yeah that's definitely a lot more riskier but i'm glad i did i have a lot more freedom and time to focus on what I really want to focus on. I'm on my own schedule and I get to spend a lot more time with family as well. But I will admit, having rental income does help. And that's why I recommend setting up some income generating sources to help you transition from nine to five worker to full-time entrepreneur. And as far as my main sources of income, let's get into them. So right now, I currently have three businesses that generate income. The first one, obviously, my Section 8 rental business. I love this business because the majority of the income is guaranteed by the government, and it also gives me most of my content for YouTube. So it allows me to help families who are in need of affordable housing and the opportunity to help people who want to learn and become Section 8 landlords in the future by teaching them what I've learned so far. And thanks to all the many benefits of renting through Section 8, right now is probably one of the best times to become a Section 8 landlord. Now my next business, I'm a real estate agent. Like I said earlier, licensed in DC, Maryland, and Virginia. Me and my wife are actually both new agents and market ourselves as the real estate couple. And since quitting our job, we've represented multiple clients. And I also encourage new investors to get their real estate license. Because if you're already gonna be in the world of real estate, you might as well earn some extra income by helping others buy and sell real estate. And you're gonna be learning stuff in the investing world as an investor. So you'll be able to pass that knowledge on to your clients. And having a real estate license is also a good tool if you're not working in nine to five job because it gives you a lot more freedom and the ability to make a lot of money. 
Now my third and final business as of right now is a women's hair salon and hair extension business. Now I kind of lucked my way into this business because my wife is a very talented hairstylist. So after I quit my job a year ago, of course she didn't want to continue working because we worked together. So after we bought another house to live in, three months after I quit, I made her a hair salon in one of the bedrooms in the basement. And three months later, she was able to quit. And she hit the ground running. The business was making much more money than I anticipated. And as for the salon, it's a private salon that's available by appointment only. I designed the entire thing. I ran a water line from the bathroom in the next room through a closet. So I was able to install a sink to wash hair. And my wife loves it and her clientele loves it. And like I said, the success of this business has totally taken me by surprise. So that prompted me to invest even more into the business. So we created a website where people can purchase different types of hair extensions. So not only are we providing a service, but products as well. And the returns I've made on this investment has really surprised me. And the fact that this income is completely passive for me because my wife pretty much runs and operates it makes it that much better. So that's pretty much an update on my life as a full-time entrepreneur. I do have a couple of small side hustles as well. For one, obviously my YouTube channel, and also every now and then I might take on a small handyman job, but those other three businesses are my main sources of income. And being an entrepreneur has made me realize that I do not like to multitask. I like to focus on what I'm focused on. If I'm dealing with real estate clients, I don't wanna be looking for an investment property for myself. Or if I'm looking for an investment property, I might start slacking on YouTube videos. So that's something that I really need to fix, being more consistent and able to focus on more than one task at a time without disregarding other tasks. So in 2023, I do plan on stepping on the gas a little bit more as regards to posting more content on YouTube and as well as marketing myself as an agent more to get more real estate clients. So if you're interested in purchasing real estate in DC, Maryland, or Virginia, make sure you reach out to me. You can hit me on Instagram at TimLeak underscore and either schedule a free consultation or just hit me in my DM and I'll definitely get back to you. And I know that real estate in DC, Maryland, and Virginia can be pretty expensive. So if you're an investor, especially a newer investor, this might not be the ideal place you personally want to start, but I can still help you with finding a solid Section 8 deal no matter where it is in the country, helping you with lenders and also referring you to an agent in whatever market you're looking in. And this is a free service for you because my pay will come from the commission from the out-of-state agent. So like I said, just hit me on Instagram and I'll love to help you out. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys support and following this journey with me. And like always, can't wait to see you guys in the next video.